my name is Brian King and I am here with Jamal Hunter and Asia Coleman and we are here discussing their first book soon to be released called Computer Love, Your Guide to Internet Dating. How are you guys doing today? Hey, how are you doing? Doing pretty good. Thank you for asking. All right, first of all, how did you guys meet? Well, well uh, <laughs> we met online. Um, I got a chance to we were on a dating site and I got a chance to run across Asia's um, photo and profile and her education just drew me to her uh, and her, of course her beautiful face and uh, the education just jumped out at me and I was kind of intimidated to be honest with you because I was like oh this sister's got a master's degree I don't know if I'll be able to and I didn't know how she was going to act but uh, so I, I kept her picture, saved it, and then finally I sent her a message and reached out to her. And after sending her a message, uh, she reached back out to me. And so that's how we ended up meeting. Nice, nice. How did the book come into existence? Hmm. Well, it started, I know, um, from some concerns that um, I addressed and you know and I was speaking with Jamal on our first conversation um, just kind of telling him things that I experienced as I was online and um, you know he said to me oh wow you know um, we could write a book about this right it was, wow. she was, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much how it, it started it. yeah it started uh, from that conversation, normally I I will ask them. I will uh, ask a woman that I meet online. So, how how is the internet thing going for you? And I you know I asked Asia that, and uh, her response was a little gloomy. And uh, we our conversation, our first conversation was really more uh, like brotherly sisterly, a very friendship type conversation, okay. intellectual. Real yeah. intellectual uh, conversation, yeah. wouldn't you Absolutely. say? Absolutely. It, it was very intellectual. And uh, we talked about different things. I had been thinking about different things about the internet dating world already. And I shared some of them with her. And we just, we felt like, we started really talking about the project from the very first time we talked to we each did. other. Wow. We did. Very first time we, we talked on the phone. You know, the online dating thing is more like uh, the modern day dating. In fact, me and my wife, we met on MySpace. Oh, wow. <laughs> MySpace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we've been married for 12 years now. That's so, awesome. you know, That's but I, I think That's this is it. something nice that you guys are doing. Right. And, right. Um, you know, I, I, I really hope that a lot of people will get to read this book. Do you guys have a particular favorite chapter? Hmm. Okay. What's well, favorite? my favorite chapter is called "So What Now." So um, what now? So what now? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay so what now? <laughs> right. So you know, with this chapter in mind, we talked about. I've had uh, some experiences where you know friends have reached out to me um, after going on that initial date, that first date, and you know some things took place and. You know, the next day, you know, they're calling me like, oh, my God, you know, they haven't, you know, reached out to me yet, you know. Um, and then by 12 noon, you know, they're really frantic because now they're feeling like, okay, well, maybe I made a mistake, you know, <laughs> this person reached out to me, that type thing. So um, with that chapter in mind, yeah, I talked a little bit about you know, so what now? You know, that feeling that you have after, you know, that is all taken place and, you know, you're kind of just wondering, you know, did I make a mistake? You know, will this person, you know, call me back? Uh, so those are just some of the experiences that could possibly happen if, you know, you don't kind of, you know, take your time and, and, and just, you know, give some um, value. To yourself and 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 you know really respect what you're doing. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. I would say uh, needs and wants uh, was a, a good chapter for me that I, I really liked as far as uh, breaking down the difference between the needs and the wants. And um, you know, a lot of times, you know, when I speak to this about 
about this with women, uh, a lot of times they don't even look at the difference between a need and a want and how men approach this and how they think uh, and how they approach women uh, based on these two different uh, type scenarios or narratives. Okay. So, uh, you know, I think that is a really good chapter and I think uh, folks will get a lot out of that. Yeah. All right. So I got to ask now. You know, this is the new day and age, the new millennium. Dating is forever changing. So, it's not like dating how it was when our parents dated. Right. So, how do you guys feel about you went on a first date? You guys hit it off really well. Everything went smooth without a hitch. How do you guys feel about kissing on the first date? Or even more so, having sex on the first date? Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, you know, in the book, we, we, we get into this quite a bit, you know, and uh, we lay out, I think we even may start with a little bit of the value. We did. Um, you know, from a woman, man perspective, from a woman, um, your value is in, in your vagina. And... Um, the longer you're able to keep the sex away from him and say no and still keep him interested in you as a woman, I think the better off the relationship will be in the future if you're trying to create something real with him. So sex on the first date, I, I always say yes as a man I'm looking for that but no from a quality perspective I would say no. I, I, I would not advise any woman to have sex on the first date because I think that it really devalues and lessens your chance of being able to make something lasting with a man if you're trying to make something lasting. Unless you just, you know, you're just out to do it. So even if the chemistry is good, don't do it. Even if the chemistry is good, uh, it'll be even better if you wait. Okay. That's true. This is true. Mm. And, um, from a woman's perspective, um, I agree. I, I think that, you know, even if the chemistry is great, there's so much more that you want to find out about this person. And, you know, being able to wait and get to really get to know the person is really important. It, it, I think it's really important. And it'll tell you how much further, you know, you can go with this person. So I, I do think that they should wait. So even if we wait, when is the right time? Is there a time limit to that or is oh. it a certain feeling or how do they know <laughs> when there's going to be the right time that we should uh, dive right in and go all the way? That's a good question. Uh, well, I, good I mean, question. I, I don't know good. that there is a, a, a time limit, like, you know, 10 months, five months. I don't know that there is. <laughs> you know, we, I don't 10 know months? I don't, no, I don't know that there is. We didn't approach, we didn't approach it from that, that yeah. perspective of, yeah. you know, wait two months or yeah, we wait, wait 90 days or any type of a waiting rule. It, it's just a thing, whereas uh, you're going off based off in, in, in energy, excuse me, and chemistry. Right. You know, so so the energy is good, the chemistry is good. Now you want to get to know who you're dealing with right. and the person that you're dealing with. You're gonna feel secure within yourself when it's time. Yeah. And you'll know when it's time. Yeah. So uh, it's not a it's not a rule book on this much time before you do X, Y, and Z. That's not the way we wanted to approach it. This is a little bit more natural, right. a little bit more, uh, you know, it's it's when you feel comfortable, but don't do it too soon if you want something real serious. I, I, I think the value is, is in, the value is in the vagina. The value is there. That's where the value is. And if you give it all away too quick, then you've totally devalued yourself as a woman, in my opinion. So as long as they use the book as a guideline, it's not per se, this is a written rule that this is how you date when you're online, but it's just a guideline yeah. to help you get to that place. Because we know that us as African Americans, we have the highest rate of single family homes, right. broken homes, right, right. and 
you know, and it, it's nice that you guys are doing this here to help them out, That's you right. know, and give them some guidelines so that we can have more um, full family homes. That's right. That's right. You yeah, know, absolutely. and it's a beautiful thing when uh, a black man and a black woman can come together uh, and create something. You know, even just as friends, Asia and I have been able to create this project in the last six months. And that's a powerful thing uh, to show that black men and women can work together. And not only can we work together, we can get along together and create something good. Right. Um, and so then when you mix in and add in love and the affection that goes along with that relationship, possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's no need to pour it all out on the first day. Right. You you can take your time, get so you to know forever. somebody. You <laughs> got forever. That's right. Uh, take your time and make something solid. That's right. You know, uh, you I know, like we we've, we've made a lot of we've made a lot of fluff, you know, in our community. We've done a lot of STDs. We've done a lot of this and that. But uh, now it's time. I think, if, especially coming into the next generation, there's there's a new generation coming. Uh, make something solid. Right. You know, I and like I, I and I, I just think that that's one of the uh, biggest things that I wanted to convey in the book mm -hmm. is 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 create some value and and make something solid that we can be proud of, like our grandparents. And, right. You know, I, I, we're in a different age and a time, but as much as the time is different. Man and woman are still the same. Still the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're still the same. That's right. We're still the same. That's good. That's good. Oh, so let me ask this. I take it that this book was written and there's a lot of your personal experience in this book? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We, um, we were very transparent, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, we interviewed one another. Uh, you know, and, and okay. uh, we gave a lot of examples and a, a lot of scenarios uh, about our own personal experiences with dating and, and things like that and things that we've experienced. And, you know, you, you just don't want to repeat the, the same things. So I think that we took that and, you know, and put it into this guide, not to say, oh, yeah, these were my mistakes and you should learn from them. But it kind of was, you know, hoping that they... Um, that the women, you know, African American women will, you know, take heed to, to some of the things and just want to do better. You know, you just want to change. You want to do better. And we, I'm, we're, our next thing is for African American men. And, you know, I've got something seeding in my mind right now that is going to be specifically for black men. Um, you know, but this guy, I, I would say we were we were thinking more about uh, the woman in this, yes, uh, you know, as far. But like I said, uh, brothers can get a lot out of this, too, yes. because and, and I think they will identify with some of the um, not characters, but what would you say? The, the descriptions of, of, of different types, types of men, uh, of men. right? Uh, they, they can identify with those descriptions. And I know they can find themselves in that and they can get a lot out of the love number and the love menu too yes. and I, I, yes. I think there's a lot uh, that a brother could really still get um, out of this too but I'm going to do something specifically for black men too but um, this one ladies this is for you and this is with you in mind and not only is it with you in mind this is with you in love and this is with you in, in thought we love you if we didn't love you we wouldn't have taken the time to even do something like this so do you feel like since you've touched on the men there, do you feel like men will benefit from reading this book as well? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, okay. brothers are going to uh, benefit from it too. I, I think that uh, anything that a man can kind of snoop and peek and see something about a sister, he's to his, it's to his benefit. If that's, <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is about her. If he can put that in the back of his mind, it makes him a better man for it because he has a better understanding of his woman That's it. and 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 as long as he can have that 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 puts him in a much stronger standing as a man yeah. okay sounds good so do you guys have any last words that you would like to leave your soon-to-be audience go buy it <laughs> <laughs> what she said <laughs>
<laughs> well, I tell you what, I can't wait to read the book. And, you know, me and my wife, we're going to have a lot of pillow talk mm -hmm. based <laughs> off of your book. All right. So I, right. I congratulate you guys for doing Thank this. You. Thank and you. good luck. And I wish you guys so much success. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank Mr. you so King. much, Mr. King.